You know, it's kind of hard to believe. In a couple of hours, we're both going to be free. Free to do what? Anything we want. You know, that's strange. I can't find my key. I must have left it downstairs in the shop. Oh, oh, no, don't do that. For Pete's sakes, I've got mine. The door's right around the corner. We're the adjoining rooms. All right. Aha. Two million dollars just for us. Nobody else has okay, to know. Okay, let's see if I can get this. You want me to help you with it? No, 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 I can do it. What the hell are you doing in here? Well, um, well, it's always so awful when you get your luggage mixed up with somebody else. What are you talking right? about? Well, um, and my sandals that I would need a frat on the patio are in here. But what happened was, uh, the turndown maid was walking by, and the I turned down my spot in my here. bag, so I just stepped in. Wow, wow, you know, I mean, if you got to get your bag mixed up with somebody's, at least it was somebody's that we know from home, right? Right. Let me see that. Check all the luggage, Hal. Hey. Hey, I didn't steal anything. Oh, really? We're gonna take David Stenbeck's fiance's word on that? At least we can account for your travel expenses you now. You better just back off, Babs. Oh, really? You're a thief. Don't you know that, Hal? Fortunately for you, her skills as a cat burglar are on par with her skills at writing romance novels. I just came to get what's mine. You know, you're lucky I don't charge you with theft. Why didn't you try to phone me if you thought the bag was up here, Molly? Why try to sneak in? Sneak in? Mm -hmm. uh, well, maybe I was just fed up with the put-downs from Miss Barbara Mouth original over there. She's lying. She thinks a man will believe anything she says. Just take the bag and go, Molly. You know, you just have your underwear in a knot because you lost your husband to Carly. What? What are you talking about? Ooh, don't I just love the look on your faces. Yeah, that's right. Carly is marrying John. Because you know that little baby inside of her? Turns out it's his. That is not true. Sure it is. You see, he's just so hell-bent on hanging on to Miss Mouth over here that he fixed it so that Carly would be impregnated with his own DNA. How about them apples? Go figure, huh? Ooh. Probably shouldn't have said all that. John, what are you doing here? Is there something I can do for you, Dr. Dixon? No, I just came to see Carly. I was hoping she might have some Okay, yeah, me. Jack, thank you. Thanks for, for listening. I think I've bent your ear long enough, and I know that you have important work to do, so... So listen, did you, uh, can did we you talk hear out anything? here, please? Sure. What's the problem? Don't you breathe a word of this to Jack. Do you understand me? See, Jack Snyder, the one obsession you just can't kick, huh? Be quiet. Boy, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Every time you get around this guy, you're like some high school kid, huh? Hormones start running around, the heart gets... Would you keep your voice down, please? You know, I saw this happening. When we were talking things over at the Mona Lisa, you kept sneaking looks over at Snyder's table. Well, sure, you know, once you dump Hal, I don't see any reason why you couldn't go after Jackie Boy. Jack was... Incredibly sweet to me just now. So he's interested as well, huh? I wasn't ready for it. How kind he was. He still cares. Well, decisions, decisions, huh? What? Look, Carly, if you want to back out of our deal here, you know, you're running after him. Okay. This drink is terrific. I'm terrific. I can't wait to see what tomorrow's gonna be like. You know those dictionaries where they put little pictures next to some of the words? Well, next to the word disgusting, they should have Barbara's mealy mouth, little face. Oh, baby, you're not still sweating that out, are you? Well, you know, she just always does that to me. You know, she, she finds some way to, to get it in there. The fact that I was homeless and that my book was a bomb. Just remember this. You got our $2 million back. So you won the war, not her. You're right. Okay. I am good, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> How many of those things have you had, anyway? Gee, I don't know. Let me see. I got one for Tammy and one for Maria. Spare me the details, okay? I was upstairs putting out fires, and you were down here fighting off the bathing beauties. Some life you have. I'm liking it so far. Oh, my God. What? Oh, what happened? Uh-oh. Is there a problem? Well, sorta. 
Brad, remember that $100 bill out of the stash that I put in my purse for good luck? Yeah. Well, I think I accidentally spent it when I was getting the cocoa butter and house room key. Molly, look, we had a deal. All right, you do not spend that money until I have it cleaned. Yeah, well, it was just one. Having the time of my life here without you changed my mind. No divorce. Hal. Damn it! No way, Hal. You just... You stay right there because you're not done on that island. Not by a long shot. Are you kidding? This could be very big. Yeah, that ransom money could definitely lead us to David. Okay, I'll be on the next flight to that island. Thanks. That's the manager. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Detective Jack Snyder of the Oakdale, Illinois Police Department. Yes, Detective. How can I help you? I just came in from the States. We're investigating a marked U.S. $100 bill that turned up yesterday at this hotel. Island authorities are cooperating fully with this investigation. We are prepared to assist you in any way we can. Do you recognize this man? No, I'm afraid I don't. Were you on duty last night? I came in at 8 p.m. when the day manager left. She'll be back to go on shortly. Thanks. Uh, in the meantime, do you mind if I take a look at your guest registry? Thank you. Molly Conlon. You couldn't sleep because of me? Really? Couldn't stop thinking about you. <laughs> Spending that $100 bill before I got a chance to launder it. Come on, time to rise and shine, do the laundry. Okay. The faster we get rid of this stuff, the better I'm gonna feel. Okay. Turn around. What? Turn around. You know, I still think you're overreacting. One measly $100 bill at a resort hotel in another country? You can turn around now. I mean, that is like a needle in the haystack, all right? And besides, that, that funny little guy at the store didn't look like he was running to call the FBI. That is not how it works, Mal. Who's that? Oh, probably room service. I ordered breakfast last night. There's enough for two if you want to stay. Just a minute! Why don't you get a little hard out, all right? I'm gonna go into my room, make a few phone calls, set things up. Okay. Fine. Molly. An old friend from home, Molly. How did you know I was here? Wow, nice sweet. Well, looks like you're finally back on top. What'd you do? Win the lottery or what? Actually, I just signed a contract with WAK for my own talk show. In your face. It, it, it hasn't aired yet, but it will soon. Good for you. So, you down here with Julia? No such luck. Here alone on business. Oh. Police business? I can't discuss it. It's confidential. I just was looking through the guest register, and there was your name. Huh. Small world, huh? Sure is. Yeah. You here alone? Gee, Jack. I didn't know you cared. Well, let's see. You came down to get some rays to get away from it all, right? That's right. That's right. I I've had a rough couple of months, and I needed a break. Yeah, it had to be rough to hear that David got in touch with Emily Stewart. I mean, most people were trying to figure out why he got in touch with her instead of you. I mean, you were really tight with the guy before he disappeared, right? Heck, you were going to get married till he dumped me. You know what, Jack? I don't want to talk about this. I do not want to get on this subject. I am on sure, vacation. Sure, sure. I just, you know, just in case you need a friend, I'm here. Someone you can trust. Just in case you get in over your head. Where is this coming from, Jack? You and I used to be kind of tight, Molly. Where is that room service? I I'm starving. You know, maybe I'll just go down to the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, you know, before you go, I was just wondering, who's in that adjoining room with you? What? Room? Joint? What? But I, that's not part of the suite. Oh, you just keep the door open in case someone interesting happens by? Maybe a maid left it open. Or huh? maybe there's someone in there you don't want me to know like about. Like who? Like David. Oh, that is nuts. Oh, You're crazy. You don't mind if I take a look? No, I, actually, I do mind. You are not going to play cop down here, Jack. It's not your jurisdiction, for one thing. Hey, Jack. Welcome to paradise. <laughs>